Hello, and welcome to Hope, Despair, and Memory, Lesson 28, Write the First Draft. In the previous lesson, we brainstormed and supported our, idea, our ideas in preparation for writing an essay. Today, we will draft an essay that demonstrates our understanding of how different authors convey similar central ideas. For this lesson, you will need the culminating writing task directions, your essay rubric, and your notes and access to the unit texts. Remember, those texts are going to be found in Lesson 1 for the Declaration of Independence, Lesson 7 for the Lottery, Lesson 12 for Antigone, Lesson 23 for I Have a Dream, and Lesson 4 for Hope, Despair, and Memory. I want you to again review the culminating writing task directions. You will have about two minutes to complete this activity. Let's work together to organize the introduction paragraph of your essay. Let's discuss to ensure the essay is organized around a thesis statement. Remember, a thesis statement is a statement that summarizes the key points of a text. All good writers have a thesis statement. When you write, you must have a central idea you are communicating, which must be presented as a declarative statement at the end of your first paragraph. It will tell your reader what your writing is about. It will also provide organization to your writing. I want you to follow the example and the directions on the slide. You don't necessarily have to use the thesis statement template. It is there for you to write, help you write your thesis statement, but you can word your thesis statement differently. You will have about five minutes to write your thesis statement. An introduction paragraph begins with broad information, such as a general background on a piece, and moves into narrower, specific information, such as the thesis statement, which is very specific in describing exactly what an essay will be about. I want you to write the first draft of your introduction. Remember to use the specific structure of the suggested paragraph to the right of the triangle if you are unsure about your writing. Remember to have background information, then a little bit more background information, then a transition se sentence, and then your thesis statement. You will have about 12 minutes to write your introduction. Now let's look at the chart on the board. The first sentence in a body paragraph must contain the topic or explain what the paragraph will be about. Next, you should provide a specific quote from the text to prove your claim, which is followed by a commentary or an explanation. Now this can be more than one sentence of your position. This should be followed by a transition to another quote and commentary. The paragraph should end with a concluding remark about your claim, as well as a transition to the next body paragraph. I want you to write your first draft of your body paragraphs. You don't necessarily have to use the format of the chart above. However, any body paragraph should contain the elements found in this chart. You will have 20 minutes to complete your body paragraphs first draft.
a conclusion paragraph is the opposite of the introduction and begins with the narrow specific information such as the reaffirmation of the thesis statement and moves into broad information such as a connection to the real world and broad universal ideas. I want you to go ahead and write your conclusion paragraph first draft. I want you to use the specific structure of the suggested paragraph structure to the right of the triangle if you're unsure about your writing. In other words, you should begin with a restatement of your thesis, a transition to a big idea, a connection to a thematic or universal idea, and then a final connection to a thematic or universal idea. You will have about 12 minutes to write the first draft of your conclusion. For homework, you're going to complete any unfinished sections of the rough draft of your culminating writing task. You will need your text, handouts, and your partially completed rough draft. Congratulations! You have completed Lesson 28 of the Hope, Despair, and Memory Unit. In this lesson, you demonstrated your understanding of the way two authors can convey similar central ideas. You also learned how to organize an introduction and body paragraphs of an essay.